Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? You already know how it's going down. This is your boy, Double O, better known as J-Hood. And right now, you're checking out the Tales from the Hood vlog series. And this is vlog series number one. I just like to thank everybody for tuning in. Double salute to everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, let's go, man. I need everybody to go pick up my brand new album, Self. It's out on every digital streaming platform there is right now. So make sure you go grab that and support your boy. The shit fire. And it'll be greatly appreciated, all right? Okay, so with that being said, let's get right into this shit. Now, I'm not too sure of the exact date that this took place, but it was somewhere around the time when making a band was popping, right? I got invited to a, a, a party that they was throwing somewhere in Manhattan. Um, I had like seven to eight of my friends with me. <clears throat> we was leaving the party on our way to the cars. And as we were on our way to the cars, we got approached by a couple of dudes, and one of the dudes happened to be Mano. I didn't know he was Mano at the time, but he introduced himself. He was like, hey, what's going on? My name is Mano. I'll be on all the mixtapes, the DJ K Slays and all Like, You never heard of me? And I looked at him, I'm like, nah. He like, huh? I'm like, nah, bro. He like, you never heard of me? I'm like, nah. I'm like, yo, son, it ain't like that. I just like, I'm not one of those artists that be checking the track list and seeing who else is on all these other mixtapes. I'm on these shits, but I don't be on them, you know what I mean, like that, checking for other motherfuckers. The way we did our freestyles, uh, Super Mario just distributed our shit to all these DJs and made sure that they were on, on their tapes, and that was about it. And we uh, we might have seen them out in the streets as far as the tapes goes and shit like that, so I wasn't trying to play him or nothing like that. I just genuinely didn't know who he was. So he was like, um... <clears throat> Yeah, we know we got we got to get up and do some shit. And me in the back of my mind, the dudes that I was dealing with, they wasn't too big on me doing like tracks with other artists unless it was like super beneficial at the time. So I already knew the chances of that going down was pretty slim, <clears throat> slimmer than Olsen twins to be honest. Which so um, but we exchanged numbers anyway. I I, I uh, had my homeboy take his number and shit. But for whatever reason, we never got up and we never spoke. And I didn't think. Not another, because I had so much shit going on anyway. So, um, a couple years later, uh, after all the shit went down between me and the locks and all that type of shit, they, the locks had a, a EP release party at Webster Hall, and I ended up going there, and, uh, Mano was there, and a whole bunch of other motherfuckers, but, uh, I seen Mano, and, uh, I bumped into him. I'm like, yo, what's good? He like, what's, what up, man? Da, da, da. I'm like, okay, ain't shit. I'm like, you good? He like, yeah. Everything good? I'm like, okay, cool. So, two, I say like no later than two to three days later, he posted a pic of me on his Instagram with the caption that read, what the fuck is this dude at? Laugh out loud. Basically trying to make me the butt of his jokes, right? <clears throat> So, me, I'm totally dumbfounded. I'm like, why the fuck would he do that? I just seen Homeboy at the EP release, and he, he ain't say nothing. Like, you know what I mean? He basically saying everything was good. I asked him, I'm like, yo, what's up? He like, ain't nothing, everything good? I'm like, so, I'm like, what, where the fuck that came from? So, mad motherfuckers is hitting me up. They tagging me in the post. They're like, yo, what the fuck is up with this shit? What, what he bugging out? What, what's, what's up with homie? So, I commented on the post, I'm like, yo, fam, I just seen you with the EP release, what's this about, you feel me, like, and he ain't say nothing, so, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna just let this shit go, I ain't even gonna say nothing about this shit, you know what I mean, cause it ain't no sweat off my back, I ain't really stressing it like that, cause to my understanding, I never knew that we had any type of uh, issues or nothing like that, so, that shit came, like, from super left field, but, you know, uh, Niggas being who they are and shit, I thought about it. I'm like, nah, man, you know what? I can't let shit like that slide because motherfuckers go think I'm some type of sweet nigga and, you know what I mean, think shit sweet and what they can talk however they want to talk to me and say whatever they want. And I ain't, I ain't one of those niggas. So I'm like, you know what? Let me reach out to somebody that I know has a link to him or that can get a link to him and let me try to get this man on the line. So what I did was I, I reached out to my homeboy Smith, BDM, because I knew <clears throat> that he fucks with somebody that fucks with homeboy. So I told him the situation. I'm like, yo, try to see if you could, you know, speak to homie and give me a line on him. So he hit me. I mean, I, t I hit him and he hit me back and was like, yo, I spoke to homeboy man and shit. Homeboy man was like, yo, that nigga ain't really talking about that shit. That shit ain't nothing. I'm like, all right, whatever. 
So Smith called me back five minutes after that and was like, you know what? Homeboy just called me back and said, he, he gonna holler at you. I'm like, all right, bet. So now <clears throat> Smith called Homeboy and Homeboy called Mano. So now we on like a four-way call type of shit. You know what I'm saying? There's <clears throat> mad niggas on the phone. So they called me. Mano get on the phone. He like, yo, what's up? I'm like, yo, what's shaking with it? He like, what's on your mind? I'm like, I mean, you tell me what's up, man. I said, well, what's that, what was that post about, fam? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what's going on? They're like, nah, that shit wasn't about nothing. I'm like, you sure, homie? Because that shit was like out of left field, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm trying to see what that's about. Like, if we had an issue, I don't know nothing about it. Like, like, let me know that type shit. You feel me? Like, because I really didn't know what the fuck was up. So he like, nah, nah, that shit ain't about nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the niggas in the comments gas shit up and make it something that it ain't and ain't nothing like that. I'm like, you sure, bro? He like, yeah, ain't nothing like that. I'm like, all right, man, I just want to make sure and shit, you feel me? Because, like I said, that shit was out of left field, and I wasn't aware of anything, fam. He like, nah, you, you good, man, it's all good. I'm like, all right, cool. I didn't really want to say too much anyway, because, like I said, there was mad niggas on the phone, and I ain't one of them niggas that be trying to, like, talk and speak on mad shit with other niggas on the phone. Like, it wasn't really no one-on-one -on -one personal conversation, so I just kept it short, kept it brief, and we hung up, and... And that was that. So, um, now it just so happens that me and this nigga was fucking one of the same chicks, which happened to be a quote unquote video vixen. You know what I'm saying? Like one chick that I had put out there and got into mad videos and she started getting the other nigga videos and shit. So me and this bitch was fucking around for a minute. The night prior to what I'm about to speak about, we got like super drunk. You know what I'm saying? Patroned up, we was fucked up. She ended up spending the night at the crib. So we had the same exact phones and shit. So we super twisted, you know what I'm saying? I ended up waking up before her though. And she had got in a, in a video of his probably like two weeks before she was at my crib. And I had seen some behind the scenes footage with her and shit, you know, laughing and joking around with the nigga and shit. So I already knew what time it was because I already knew what type of chick she was anyway. So that wasn't my shorty. So I'm like, you know what I mean? I ain't, you know, I ain't sweated. But anyway, I woke up before she did, and I didn't remember where I put my phone at. Because, like I said, we both had the same exact phones. So, me, by accident, I ended up grabbing her phone, thinking it's mine. And uh, she didn't have no lock on it, so like I said, I didn't know what it was. So, I grabbed the phone, and I went to the text messages. And I'm trying to see who texts me, and it ended up being her phone. And I see a text from the main old nigga. I'm, I'm like, oh shit, I realized it was her shit. I'm like, man, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really on it like that, but let me see what this bitch on here talking about, man. Man, no nigga was like, yo, hell, you got it in a J Hood nigga video and start laughing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, ha ha ha, laugh out loud and all that shit. And this bitch tried to betray me on some Judas type shit. Like, nah, I couldn't be edited out by the time they finished filming it. It was too late for them to cut me out and all this other shit, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, this shit crazy. I'm like, so son got an issue with me? that I don't even know about, or does he feel a certain way from back in the days that I didn't know who he was? I mean, because I didn't know who he was back then, I'm like, that shit is super petty. Like, you know what I mean? I fucked with son. I mean, I don't, I don't fuck with him like that. I don't know him like that, but as far as music goes, like, I'm like, I, I fuck with the shit he put out. To my understanding, he was a real nigga, you know what I mean? Like, I never had no, like, real problems at all with the nigga. So I'm like, I know this nigga ain't on some petty shit like that, still uh, holding some type of grudge because I didn't know who he was. I'm like, maybe he think I tried to play him back then when that never was the case. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, I just didn't know who the nigga was. Like I said, because I wasn't one of them artists that was checking who these other artists was on these tapes. So that shit was just always crazy to me. So, man, you know, if you see this shit, my nigga, it's all love, it's all good, nigga. I remember the conversation that we had, nigga, and I told you everything was love and everything was everything. So to this day, everything is everything. I just want to put that story out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Salute, bless, peace. Tells from the hood, Vlog Series.